Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis right here at Creative Kitchen and Bath. And we are working on holiday recipes, yeah. our favorite time of year. So yeah. what do you got well, for us? I cook for a living, but that doesn't mean that I want to sleep in the kitchen on holidays <laughs> and Absolutely. keep cooking. So I'm always trying to come up with, you know, just clever, um, easy, go-to recipes that are super flavorful and just um, all around comforting for the soul, right? Yum, I love it. So we've done a similar version of this one, uh, but we did it with uh, sweet potatoes. We did kind of candied maple bacon sweet potatoes. Oh, they were so good. Yeah. <laughs> they really so were. So this is a little spin off of that but okay. this is with acorn squash which I love and it is just um, very easy to work with too um, gets its name because of the shape so okay acorn squash looks like a big acorn there, there you, you go. go that's how to know what it easy to remember how to find it we're gonna cut it in half and just like um, most squash varietals and pumpkins, uh -huh. um, it has the, the guts. So we want to just kind of scoop that out. Okay. Now, um, I just use a prepared like baking dish. Um, and basically, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to go with everything right inside of our baking dish and just let the oven do our work for us. So okay. There's no sauteing involved, nothing. So I'm just cutting some bacon into some thick strips or uh, lordons um, in French, which is just kind of big chunk uh, pieces of thick bacon. And then we're gonna slice up some onions as well. And all of this is just gonna go in our baking dish. You can leave your acorn squash whole if you want. Really? Um, How would you do that? Well, not whole, but in halves, sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Once you scoop the seeds out. Gotcha. Um, but what I like to do is I'll just go ahead and I'm going to just cut these into strips. And you can really like stretch this for um, a family and just have this as a nice pretty side dish. So we'll just start oh, that is pretty. layering this in. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty easy to cut through. Notice I don't have my hand down. Yeah. I just put my hand on top and yeah. apply a little bit more pressure. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to have that in there, and then we're just going to go over with the bacon. I'm not crisping it up or anything. I'm just putting it all in the dish, Yum. coating it. We're going to take these onions. Like I said, we're going to cut some strips. Okay. Layer that. This is all about layers. The only thing I think this might be missing, and you could certainly add this to it, uh, might be some cheese. Oh, <laughs> so I don't cheese. think cheese would be bad either. But this could be that could be something you sprinkle over at the end. What kind of cheese would you recommend if you did? Um, probably yourself? like Parmesan or okay. Gouda, or even like a goat cheese would be really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Good. So we've got the acorn squash, the onions, the apples. Um, really any apple will work, um, but I like the green Granny Smith and I also like the Honey Crisp. Mm. Honey Crisp are really my favorite. They really are. All right, so we got our apple in here and then now we're going to season just a little bit of like salt and pepper. Okay. We got a little bit of olive oil. Mm. Right? Yep. We're going to get a lot of the, the grease from the bacon. Um, we could garnish with a little bit of uh, parsley sprigs or just okay. throw, you know, a few in. Like, I'm all about rustic dishes, you know, around the holidays. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can just kind of let it do uh -huh. its thing, right? So the sweet that we're going to add to this one, um, I picked this up, but blackstrap molasses. So it's a little bit deeper, richer uh, flavor. So a little bit of the molasses Ooh. on there and a little bit of the maple syrup. Right? This looks fantastic already. It doesn't I mean, look too bad, it's I have to say. Beautiful, I love it. And then um, for a, a, just a bit of like infusion, I uh -huh. threw some like rosemary sprigs. Now, Magic of TV, I've got one already working in the oven, so I'm going to awesome. pull that and see okay. what we think. Um, but yeah, this is um, good to go. And basically, it's going to sit in an oven 375 for roughly. Uh, 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Really, it's all about just getting the acorn squash nice and fork tender. Wow. Um, and then you can just break into it and eat it. You can you can eat the peel, but I pretty much just take it off of the peel and enjoy it. But yeah. It'll be beautiful. So anyways, I'm going to pull one out and okay. we'll see where we're at. Now, what would you pair this with? I mean, that would go great with anything, but ideally, I think that would be a wonderful pairing with pork or oh. even like a nice um, broiled like uh, fish. Like gotcha. if you did a whole side of a fish Ooh. or something, yeah. I think that would be really nice. Okay, yeah. nice. Wonderful. All right, well, let me grab this and then we'll see where we're at. All right, sounds good. I love this. And how long did you say that this needed to go into the oven? For about 30 minutes. It's really all about getting that, you know, nice soft fork tender. Uh -huh. um, Squash. 
Gotcha. So here's one that's oh, it looks done. Fantastic. It yeah. smells and then so good. You see good. how the rosemary yes. just kind of blistered on top? You can just kind of remove that, but it's going to infuse that flavor. Okay, we need to be digging into this. because right? <laughs> For this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky, or you can head over to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com, and we will be right back right after this short break.